Welcome to another edition of Don't Shoot the Messenger Podcast. I'm your boy, Professor Sutton. And I'm your boy, Chris G. And it's your boy, The Work Report. Jersey. So, man, please. <laughs> Thanksgiving. So, we are on the brink of Thanksgiving Eve here. True. Um, we got, we got, we got Chris in the building, you as know. always. We got Ruck in the building. Yes, sir. And for the first time ever, I'm about to go live on this mug. Live. You know say I'm about to go live up here. Um, Hold on, let me let me get my live joint on. July. Let me get my live joint oh, on. Man. Three, two, one. Oh, oh. What's up, Facebook? We live. Oh. We in the building. This is my first time doing this, so I'm gonna mm-hmm. be switching the camera around. Um, if you got something to say, say what up. We we out here. So our first uh topic. Hold on, let me turn this mic down because I don't want to be. Killing my eardrum. So, our first <laughs> topic we're going to be talking about is um, the fight that happened last Saturday between Andre Ward and, uh, we say, how do you, how you pronounce his name? Co- Kovalev? Sergey. Sergey Kovalev. Sergey Kovalev. You better put some respect um, on his name, though. Yeah, yeah, because I heard that he was doing a thing. So, so Chris, uh, what is your reaction about the fight that took place this weekend? Um, my reaction. Just My reaction to the fight was one of disappointment. Okay. Uh, oh. Yeah, oh. Yeah, it, it it was disappointing, and not for the traditional reasons that you should be disappointed with a boxing match that it didn't, you know, that it wasn't entertaining, or you know, it was a wash, or you know, uh, it wasn't competitive. Those weren't the reasons why I were disappointed with the fight. The reason why I was disappointed with the fight. As everybody who watches the show know, as you guys know, man, I'm a boxing fan. I mean, I'm a box. I love boxing more than any other sport, even more than football. I love boxing. I know obscure boxers. I know facts about boxing that just regular people just don't know. I'm a big boxing guy and it's rare in the sport of boxing, more rare than you might ever know. For two top five pound for pound fighters to fight mm-hmm. each other, mm-hmm. um, as a matter of fact, it's only happened three times. This was the third time it's ever happened. So it's rare to get this. And um, with and I love MMA, but with MMA on the just popularity at an all time high, they got the charismatic Conor McGregor. They got the fanatics of Ronda Rousey. Um, you know, John Jones, all of these people, you know, UFC is at an all time high. And when boxing gets a chance to shine, you want them to shine. You want them to, you know, take their rightful spot in, you know, in the light when they get their opportunity with so many fighters, you know, this, this day and age being afraid to fight real contenders, real actual competition. Um, you know, this was, this was, you know, out of the norm for boxing. This was, uh, something that doesn't happen every day. So, you know, going into the fight, I was so excited to see Ward versus Kovalev because I said, you know what? Is, is the power of Kovalev going to be too much for Ward or is Ward's, you know, superior boxing skills going to take over? And by round two, we had to answer because <laughs> he put Ward on his butt and I go, holy shit, he about to take him out. But Ward showed, he showed grit. He showed toughness to to fight his way back. Mm. But this ain't the Boy Scouts. I'm not giving you the fight because you put up a good one after being put on your butt. I'm not giving you the fight because you showed some gumption. You know, you showed some balls. You know, you, 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 you stepped up and didn't make it embarrassing. That doesn't give you the dub. Um, it was a crime. It was a travesty. That Kovalev was robbed of that fight. And I mean, we could go round by round, but we won't. Mm -hmm. But this is how you really need to look at it. And this is undebatable. And I don't care who says anything. This is absolutely undebatable. Kovalev won the first six rounds. Period. Mm. Period. He won the first six rounds. Did this go to the cards? This did go to the cards. At the very, very least, the best. And this is, he won the first six rounds with a knockdown. Wow. With mm. a knockdown in the second. And that's clear. That's clear. It's not even a debate. Mm. 
for it to go to the cards and for Ward to win by one round <laughs> when literally he this is unequivocally he lost the first six rounds he it's lost in 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 from, and from seven to twelve and from seven to twelve I will give Ward some rounds but the most I can give him is four wow. the most from seven to twelve I can give him is four how does he win how does he win by one point? Now. How? Now. How, Sway? Should. How? <laughs> you ain't got all the. Wait, I ain't going to even do that to Kanye. Kanye kind of go through it this week. I ain't going to mess with Kanye. I'll do it to him. You nah. ain't got all the answers, Sway. So, does there deserve to be a rematch? Of course it deserves to be a rematch. But listen, here's the thing. It could get tricky. Because mm. here's the. Why? If I'm Andre Ward. Tuning in to another edition of Don't Shoot the Master Podcast. I'm your boy, Professional Sutton. And I'm your boy, Chris G. And it's your boy, The Work Report. Peace. Jersey.